Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a classic get ready with me. This is going to be kind of fall inspired. I am playing with the new Victoria Beckham lid lusters. I picked them both up in honey and tea rose. We're also playing with the Huda Beauty. This is the faux filter stick foundation. I've heard so many good things about it and this was waiting for me once I got home and so I'm going to be playing with that foundation today as well as a few of my other favorite goodies. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this kind of fall inspired look today, playing with some new as well as some oldies but goodies such as the Westman Atelier bronzer and, and the beautiful Sisley blush, then let's go ahead and get started. Hello everyone. So excited to be playing with some new makeup. So I got some from the Sephora sale that just showed up and that is the Huda Beauty and this is the Faux Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. I love a good stick foundation and I ended up picking this up in the color Shortbread which is 200 B. So we're going to be using that and then yesterday my little Victoria Beckham lid lusters showed up. So I, so I have this in honey as well as tea rose and so I thought we would have a little fun creating a simple eye look using that. So first I thought what we would do is we would pull out Victoria Beckham and this is the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. I have not used this in a while, but it is a fantastic little primer. And I thought we would go ahead and use that this morning since we have it. I'm gonna put a little underneath my eyes. And this does feel wonderful on the skin. You can also just use this as a moisturizer. I had already used my current skincare as well as SPF. So I'm using this as a primer this morning. And we'll just kind of let this sink in to the skin. And I have not had a chance to play with this Huda Beauty stick yet. So you're going to be just getting a kind of first impression kind of video this morning, but I thought we would just do a little get ready and play with some makeup. So first of all, this is the shade Chai, or no, this is the shade Shortbread. I think I was between the colors Chai and Shortbread, and I ended up going with Shortbread here and it may be a little bit light you guys but we'll just see how that works out and I am going to start with a little slick down the major points of the face and I have heard good things about this and I really love a stick <laughs> I'm going to use my Hourglass and this is their little foundation brush that kind of came with the um, their Vanish stick foundation. So it's really nice for buffing, kind of angled and I really like that one. And let's go ahead and buff this into my skin hmm. and I'm hoping everybody had a fantastic weekend. I actually traveled for the first time in a year. So I did take my daughter to California to kind of drive around some of the schools she applied. So we did a quick little jaunt and I'm recovering now <laughs> from travel. So I am just going to be buffing this in And we had a good little trip down there. We spent a lot of time. I was a driving machine. I lived in LA twice before, so it kind of feels like going home a little bit. So it was kind of a quick little girl's trip here. Okay, so this is what I have put on my skin so far. 
and I'm not sure if I'm in love or not. I love a good stick, but it is kind of rubbing off on areas. It's not actually sticking to my skin. So maybe I'll put a little bit more, kind of right where it's rubbing off around my nose and right over there. We'll just see if that's gonna help. And the color match, I imagine this is just a tad light for me, but we're gonna make it work and just ignore my eyes guys. I'm a little bit sleep fatigued here between the time change and travel. I didn't have a lot of sleep the last few days. Okay guys, this is what the foundation looks like so far. And it is a little bit tacky on the skin. We're just gonna kind of let that sink in. It is not blowing me away like my Tom Ford stick is sort of my be all end all stick foundation. Um, I actually do really like the Hourglass stick foundation as well, but I do think this is pretty. Um, just going to see how this kind of wears. So that is so far. I just love the ease of a stick and I love the fact that you can kind of build it up to full and then also kind of shear it out to kind of more of light coverage. So I personally like that. Now let's use my little magic Chantecaille. This is the Le Camouflage Stilo and this is the Anti-Fatigue. This is what I love to use when I need to look like I've had some hours of sleep and Let's hope this can do some magic. It has that little kind of caffeine complex in it. And it just is thin. I just really, it doesn't make me, doesn't make me feel like I'm aging myself. So I'm just gonna use my ring fingers. And I am going to use this and place it kind of all over my eyes. And And I'm so excited because I picked up two of the new Victoria Beckham. These are the lid lusters. They are in honey and tea rose. And it was funny because I ordered these while I was in the airport. They just launched and I was like, I'm going to need to pick up these two colors. This is honey. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty kind of swatch of that. That's going to go perfect with my sweater today. And I picked up tea rose and you guys, I love a pretty kind of tea rose color there. That's so pretty. These are going to be kind of like your simple, pretty eyes here. And this one is tea rose. So the reason I love these is they're not too over the top very wearable. And then I pulled out my little favorite little eye brick. And this one is in tweed. And I was just going to primarily focus on these two colors here and then pop on like honey on the lid today. We're going to play around with these, but I thought we'd do a quick little kind of simple eye using this today. You guys, I am in love with this shade here just as my kind of go-to overall shade. That one is called Caramel. So caramel, caramel, caramel color here. I'm going to use the refer number zero. And that's kind of the caramel color. And then we'll go ahead and pop a little bit of this on my overall lids here. And take a big fluffy brush you guys and just blend that caramel color all over the lid kind of a perfect little warm smoky eye for this kind of cooler weather that we're experiencing here at least in the Pacific Northwest feeling the fall vibes the trees have all turned colors and it just is looking so pretty out going to use the rougher number three 
still going in this kind of caramel toned color. And I'm going to put a little bit of that underneath my lashes. Okay guys, I just did a real simple wash of caramel and I put a little bit underneath my eyes and then now I'm going to pull out honey. And we're going to add a little bit of this beauty on the lid here. I just think that's going to look so pretty. Kind of a simple little wash. And I am just going to pat this on my lid. And it's going to give me that little kind of foiled look. But we can make this look fantastic for the day look as well. Okay guys, this is just honey and caramel together. Super simple eye. I just put a little bit of brown eyeliner on and some mascara. But I think I'm going to use just a teeny bit of tea rose on the outer area just to show you guys. So we're going to mix a little of these, but it's so pretty. But I think we could do a really pretty kind of eye using tea rose. A little bit on the third outer V over here. Just a little bit. Okay guys, that's a little bit of tea rose on the outer. Then we've got honey and I had just started with caramel all over the lid. I'm going to take a little bit of brown here. This is cashmere. I'm just using a little teeny bit of that. And instead of using bronzer in the crease like I normally do, I'm just going to use a little bit of that. I could also have used caramel. Okay, then I am going to line my eyes a little bit with the Brune Agape. This is from Chanel. And this is just a beautiful kind of chestnut brown right here. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to wiggle this through the lash line. using a refer little pencil number three my favorite brush ever and I'm just kind of smudging that brown close to the lash line This is just a super pretty kind of smoky tweed, kind of fall inspired eye look. And both of these are just so pretty. Really easy kind of eye. You could just use this singly on your eye as well for just a little wash of color. Um, maybe with a little bit of eyeliner and then head out the door. And or kind of do what I did using a combo of some matte shades as well as just a little lid luster. But very wearable during the day. I love both of these colors. So pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and put mascara on and then we'll finish off the face. Um, you can do a little lip too. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, we've got our eyes on, a little mascara, and just again, super simple. I love these two colors, just pretty and easy to wear. So then I picked out, then I pulled out my Westman Atelier. This is their Beauty Butter Bronzer, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this to warm up the skin trying to pull out some of the goodies that I haven't used in a while. And this is just going to be a pretty kind of color here. Okay. 
Okay, then from blush, I pulled out my Sicily, and this is in the coral shade. So this includes kind of like a highlighter and a blush. These are so beautiful, and I have not used them. I have them in rose, and I have it in the coral shade, and it's just a very pretty um, blush. So I'm trying to do some new and some old shop my stash kind of makeup, which I'll do a few more of those. I'm just going to kind of blend this in. Then I thought I would end with my personal favorite Victoria Beckham lip combo. This is pencil number two along with Pixie. Such a good combo. So just going to line my lips real quick. I'm going to slick on Pixie. Then I've got my little perfect nude lip, basic kind of smoky, kind of sparkly fall eye from Victoria Beckham and the Huda Beauty Stick. So you guys, I will do a full review of this foundation. So far, I am just doing first impressions, came home to that finally showing up from Sephora. And so far, I will say it feels like fantastic on my skin. Like it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. So I will just kind of play around. I do see that it's got a little bit of glow coming through, peeking through, and I think that's because I used the Victoria Beckham little kind of primer here. So, so you guys, this is my final look for the day. I just wanted to get on, get back in the groove, playing with a little bit of fun makeup. I've got a other, I have a couple other fun things coming up as well as some videos that I have promised that I am finally getting to. So I am back to work. I hope you guys are doing well and I will be back with another video soon.